So Fortnite Season 3 dropped a few days ago and we've already managed to load into unreleased LTMs and old LTMs. Now in today's video we're going to be loading into the Flora's Lava LTM to see what will happen with all of the water. As well as that we're going to be loading into the Drifting LTM which allows us to basically go under the water and allows us to see all of the unreleased new POIs early. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do make sure you definitely do subscribe we're so close to 200k and I don't want to keep you guys waiting so let's get straight into the video. So before we loaded into Food Fight Deep Fried, which is basically Flora's Lava, but the lava doesn't go any higher. But you can see we've loaded into the actual Flora's Lava LTM and every single time we've done this in the past, it always ends up crashing when we jump out to the battle boss or maybe even when we land and things like that. So we're going to try it one last time for this video, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. But if it does, that's going to be so insane and it's going to look so cool seeing the lava slowly rise and then the water's just going to disappear. So this could be really interesting and somehow it's not crashed just yet. Normally it would crash by now, so we may even have some look. And I'm not sure if it's rising just yet. We're going to land at the agency where the lava appears because you can see the lava does appear here but you can't really see that well. So we're going to land here and let's see if we can spot it slowly rising. If it does rise this is going to be insane for the video. <laughs> so let's just hope it does. And I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've even been able to load into Flora's Lava and get to the main island. Every other time I've done it I've ended up glitching out on Spawn Island. So I'm not sure when the lava is supposed to rise but maybe after this time is finished it will start rising. So I just put this floor here so we know if it's rising or not. And by the looks of it, it's not moved just yet. So we'll give- Oh my god, wait! Oh my god, I think it's actually rising. By the looks of it, if I stand here- Oh my god, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's rising. So once it gets past this, we're gonna know that it definitely is rising. But I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so that's perfect. There's a medkit right there. All right, let's quickly go back over here and let's see if it's starting to rise. And let's just heal up whilst we're waiting. What the hell? So I just opened a chest and we got a rift to go. That's so weird because normally the loot's just the same as a normal normal game. So maybe Riftigos are coming back. I'm not sure if they are back. I may be acting stupid. Whoa, hold on. Oh, okay. I thought it is risen, but I don't think it has. And I'm actually curious to see what happens if we throw one of these launch pads onto the lava. So let's see what happens. So what the hell? I didn't expect that. To be honest, I just expected it to float to like it was on water. It basically just went underneath the mat. So let's just throw one down here. Anyway, you can see that the colors are just so weird in the Flores Lava LTM and it looks so cool to be fair. I mean, even got helicopters. I didn't even notice that. Let's hope it doesn't just get destroyed or something because then we don't have any way to move around the map so here we go guys we're gonna slowly go oh my god oh that actually looks so sick let's do that again so i think yeah we can literally just go under the lava do we take damage oh my god what what the hell that's so stupid i give up with this game man i actually give up so here we go guys, we're now inside of the drifting LTM and the reason I flipped into this is because we can actually explore under the water. Now how insane is that? We're going to be able to explore all of the underwater locations. And if you guys aren't aware, Epic Games have a lot of detail underneath the water still and that's because during this season the water is slowly going to decrease and the water levels are going to go down quite a lot and it's going to get to the point where it goes completely back to normal and once it goes back to normal there's going to be certain POIs that come back such as the shark. So you guys can see the shark sticking out over there, however we can't explore it until probably a few months from now. So we're going to be exploring it early and this is going to be insane. So this is going to be like a big leak. There's also a massive hole in the ground over there and that's because it's a placeholder for a new POI that they're going to be adding in the future. And I can see that we've got these red supply drops again and we're going to try and go over to them and I feel like if I open this it's just going to sink to the ground. So I just opened that and the hoverboard went straight to the ground, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter because we can go over here and we can try and build towards this one. So hopefully if we open this, we can get on the drift board and let's just hope it doesn't sink. And yes, there we go. So we're now on the drift board and look how weird this is going to be. We're literally just going to drive into the water <laughs> and look at this. We're actually on the old map again. So this is basically just a chapter two season two map, but there's going to be a lot of new POIs that we can explore. So look how weird this is. Barely anyone's seen this yet. So we're going to explore over here and look how glitchy all of this is. Most of this has no collision whatsoever. And I can't believe the old map's still here. How weird is that? And what the hell? There's a helicopter underwater. And when you touch it, it just went straight to the top. So I had no idea that helicopters were still underwater. And we still got all the old houses as well. So let's go inside of the house. And this is so funny because I did a video a few weeks ago and I tried to guess what chapter two season three is going to be like. And I did a video where I basically loaded into the map underwater and it literally looks the exact same as this. So my guesses were kind of correct to be fair. And all I said in my video is that it's probably going to be brighter underwater 
and I think I was right about that because you can see that everything does look a lot brighter. Now I'm pretty sure even the chest will spawn underwater but let's try and go to where the shark is so I can't remember where it usually is. I think the shark's usually over here. So look how weird this is we're basically just driving around underwater and we can just face through all of this which is so weird. Anyway we're gonna try and get to the shark right now and I'm not sure where it is it should be around here shouldn't it? Let me check. So yeah we still have a bit more to go. Oh my god the storm's actually moving in. Hopefully we can get there without the storm killing us. So look how weird this is. This is a place I was on about before. We're literally underneath the water now which makes no sense and there we go you can see the sharks over there so that's so insane most of you guys aren't going to see this for a while but the shark will be coming back i think the vault will also be there and this little location underwater over here is this place i was telling you guys about so this is going to be a new poi i think it's called something falls so there's probably going to be waterfalls all around here obviously it's not going to look like this it's going to look a lot nicer but i'm pretty sure it's going to be this shape and you can see we're underneath that whirlpool and let's quickly explore the shark for some reason i keep on regaining health so i think we should be able to get there and here we go you can see that we're at the shark and this is a big leak because as you can see the shark's been destroyed so once the shark comes back it's going to look like this you can see that it's got this logo here and all of that's destroyed as well now obviously the henchmen aren't going to spawn under the water <laughs> that'd be kind of funny but look how cool everything is everything's just been destroyed and look at this the thing's actually open i don't know why it's open that's so weird i didn't know that so i knew that the vault was still going to be here but i didn't know it was going to be left open so you can see it's all rusted and corroded and everything so maybe a chest will spawn inside of there and it's basically just going to be the first person that gets there that gets a chest so you're probably not even going to have to hunt down any of the bosses or anything like that and i can see that all of the jail cells are completely destroyed the door's actually falling off this one and we can't open it unfortunately so that's kind of weird and yeah it's just so weird seeing all of this you can still open these doors and things like that so this is basically what it's going to look like once the water levels go down and you can see that we still have a reboot van that's weird because we're probably going to be able to use it so yeah you can see that we can still use it underwater <laughs> which is kind of weird and that's kind of cool how everything's going to be coming back and there we go we just died and we won the game and now let's try and load into one more ltm so now inside of the stump king ltm look how cool everything looks and this is going to be insane to see what's going to happen so i've done this before i've loaded into the stump king in fortnite chapter 2 season 2 and all of those videos did so insane so most of you guys may have even subscribed from those videos but you can see we're inside of the stump king ltm in fortnite chapter 2 season 3 now the stump king's probably going to freeze again it did freeze the last time in chapter 2 season 2 and that's because it's obviously not optimized and i feel like it's going to just happen again and you can see that it's going to spawn inside of the authority and why is there a grey pistol here anyway let's see if we can find some weapons but i do want to see it spawning first so we'll just wait a few seconds this is going to be so weird and if you guys want to see me load into more in the future i definitely will and i may even try loading into some ltms that haven't been released yet so <laughs> look how weird that is the stone king's inside of the authority and you can see that the building's slowly getting destroyed and it's probably going to freeze in a second so let's try and get a bit closer so let's just throw down one of these and i'm not sure if we're going to be able to get there in time before it freezes so there we go guys there's the storm king and oh no 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 that almost killed me and i think we're gonna die in a second so i may as well move out of the way and yeah look how sick that is he's definitely gonna kill us so let's try and kill him with a gray pistol because that's definitely gonna help and oh my god he's slowly just destroying everything oh my god right so defeat yep we're defeated already that's how good i am at fortnite guys i didn't have enough time to get a weapon because i just wanted to see it spawn in anyway that's cool to see that the storm king's still inside of fortnite but let's be honest it's definitely not going to be coming back anytime soon so now inside of the ice storm event <laughs> now you can see the entire map's just covered in ice or fog whatever you call it and look how sick this is this is like the mist that they added in the season 7 ice storm event and this playlist is called ice storm i don't think anything's gonna happen i think i looked it into it in fortnite chapter 2 season 2 but i never really showed any footage because we waited till the end of the game and nothing really happened however there's a few weird things you may have seen in my video a while ago i showed a really small clip of this just in a little montage and there's a location over here where there's so many chests that just randomly spawn so i'm gonna try and find the same location and see if it's still here so i think epic games must have removed it i don't know why it was even there in the first place but there was like a little spot over there where you could just open literally probably about 100 chests maybe the coordinates of it have changed or something i don't know so here we go guys we've actually got a helicopter and that's weird how the helicopters even spawn so we're just going to quickly explore and see if there's anything cool that we can notice i'm pretty sure everything will be normal from here on out the map does actually look really cool like this and you can see the lighthouse in the distance which looks really sick with all the fog it would be cool if epic games did add different types of weather just to make the game more interesting but i don't think they ever will to be fair i always thought it'd be cool if there's really heavy rainstorms and things like that but we'll just have to wait and see but if you guys are wondering what it would be like if the entire map was covered in fog this is probably what epic games would make it look like you can't even see anything around you <laughs> which makes it really interesting to be fair anyway hopefully you guys found that interesting so there we go guys that was all of the ltms i loaded into and i thought it turned out really cool so if you do want to see me do a part two 
make sure you definitely let me know by giving this video a like. And if you don't want to miss videos like this in the future, make sure you definitely consider subscribing. We're so close to 200,000 subscribers. We're literally less than a thousand away. So thanks to everyone that decides to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And I have even more insane videos coming this season. Anyway, thanks for all the amazing support recently. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.